Hi, welcome to the Short Sale Market Watch. I'm Bob Gibbs, and this is August the 28th. Something I wanted to talk to you about today has been uh, come to our attention. It's a little bit disturbing, actually. It has to do with um, agents um, uh, presenting themselves as <clears throat> short sale experts and um, or short sale specialists. And one thing I wanted to be um, uh, you may make you aware of is that there really is no designation as a short sale specialist. Uh, that's something that someone just kind of tags on the back of their um, uh, their name um, in order to present themselves as something they probably are or not. So um, here's a concern. You know, in, in addition to representing a lot of uh, uh, people who need to to uh, do something with their home because it's upside down and they need to save their credit and avoid foreclosure, we also represent buyers who actually buy some of these short sale homes. And what I'm finding is that when we get into uh, a negotiation with an agent who claims to be a short sale specialist and in fact um, has no uh, certifications at all they may have done one or two short sales in their career uh, certainly less than five <clears throat> and they in some cases they actually give the file to a third party who actually does a negotiation with the bank if you're interviewing agents to represent you in order to save your credit and to avoid foreclosure Make sure you ask questions. You know, if someone says that they're a short sale specialist, ask them what that means, because there's really nothing behind it. So what you really need to look for is someone who has been certified to do short sales. So there's several certifications. The two that that we um, researched and found to be the best is CDPE, which stands for Certified Distressed Property Expert. This is a course you take, and part of that is you get ongoing training um, on a weekly basis as to new uh, laws, new uh, protocol from the banks. So you're basically being trained perpetually on what's going on with short sales and distressed properties. The other one is someone who's been approved for or been trained in HAFA. HAFA is a, a home alternative foreclosure. And basically what that means is that there's a program from the, the government that um, you can apply for if you're in a situation where you need to get out of your home because you can't afford it for some reason or some situation arose where the home is no longer something that you can maintain. Um, there are programs for the government, one of them being HAFA, where they'll actually help you move on, they'll give you some money to help you move, and they'll allow the short sale to go through smoothly. So those are the two ones that, that we find the best. So I would definitely make sure that whoever you're talking to about representing you for the sale of your home, if it's short, that they have at least those two designations. The other thing too is that they need to be active in selling short sales and helping people avoid foreclosure. So if you know they don't know or they can't give you how many homes that they've sold or uh, they find out they've only done one or two or certainly less than 10 over the last six months, you really need to reconsider whether or not you want to use them to represent you. And the last thing, if someone says they're going to give you your file to another uh, third party to negotiate with a bank, that's a red flag that you're probably not working with someone who does a lot of short sales. I'm not saying they're not good agents, but they're, they're not going to be representing you in your best interest. So um, as always, you can give us a call uh, on the, the phone number at the top of the uh, website there, or feel free to shoot me an email. Um, and as always, we're here to help you realize your real estate goals and dreams. We want to help you avoid any kind of foreclosure or save your credit and um, move on gracefully. With that, have a great day. Bye.